It's still small, but growing fast. Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport wants to compete with Sky Harbor. Today, CBS 5's Jason Kata checked out how emergency crews are ready to handle accidents and medical problems. Jason. Well, I tell you, it's a good thing these guys are here because last year alone, one of their engines responded to more than 700 calls. With more than 1.4 million passengers now flying out of Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport, there's always the possibility of something going wrong. If a passenger has experienced some kind of medical call, we would call out to Mesa Fire Station 215. They respond within minutes and treat the patient on scene. We've had to support the airport, support the airlines when they've had emergency landings. And in some cases, we've had situations where people have come in where they've had medical emergencies. The difference between this station and your neighborhood fire station is the specialty training needed to work here. What's great about this is knowing that there is a safety net that you have emergency medical personnel, firefighters, paramedics trained in aircraft firefighting. They call this beast Foam 22. As opposed to your standard fire truck, this one is self-sustained with, get this, 3,000 gallons of water, 400 gallons of foam, and 450 pounds of a substance they call Purple K. Which is a metal extinguishing agent, and right after that we can, we're going to spray uh, the AFFF foam, which is for putting out fuel fires. But the two of them shot together, which, is, which this truck will do, will put out every fire that we have in front of us. Oh, and that's not all. Additionally, this truck is also equipped with seatbelt cutters, axe, abrasive blade, saw. Well, in addition to the airport, Fire Station 215 is always on standby to help out in the surrounding community if they're needed. Live in Mesa, Jason Cato, CBS 5 News. Fox 10 Arizona Morning is back. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. It's uh, 20 minutes to 8 o'clock, and you are looking over my shoulder here at an airport that just keeps on growing. More than 1 million people fly in and out of Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport each year. So what happens when one of those people has a medical emergency? The Mesa Fire Department steps in. Diane Ryan live this morning at the airport. Find out more of what they're doing. Hey, Dee. Hey, that's right. Good morning. We are standing right outside one of the terminals here at the Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport. And you're right, a 1.4 million people coming in and out of this tournament, this uh, area every single day. And if there's something that goes wrong, the 911 call goes to Mesa Fire. You can see their, one of their engines out here this morning. And with me right now is Forrest Smith. And you guys uh, really have a lot to do. It's not just taking care of pa patients. You take care of pretty much everything, putting out fires, everything. That's right. When it comes to emergency operations at the airport, the partnership that we have with Phoenix Mesa Gateway is to provide emergency treatment or emergency care and services in case the event of a airplane uh, uh, event or if there's any passengers that are in need of our services. So really the crews that we have at fire st at, uh, at uh, airports throughout the valley and throughout the state or firefighters who are trained in paramedicine as well as airport rescue and firefighting. Okay and so we're outside you can easily put out those fires you know how to do that inside. Right. What are some of the things that you usually see uh, in people who are coming through the airport what, what you, and they need some kind of help? What do you usually see? Well a lot of times the patients who we're working with uh, may have been traveling from other pair areas were a long way, so they may have forgotten their medications. Uh, some instances we're dealing with some people who may have respiratory issues, which are complicated by the fact that they were traveling. The humidified air may lead to dehydration issues. And in some cases, you may have people who have cardiac or heart problems. And whether they've checked with their doctor first and have been traveling, that may complicate their, uh, their health issues. So really, we're prepared to take care of any of these medical crises. Okay, we're going to come over here and talk to uh, Casey uh, Parsley. He's the engineer here. And you've got all kinds of boxes here or what what do they do and how do they help um, we have our uh, heart monitor which also works as a defibrillator um, we can treat any kind of heart condition evaluate it there we have oxygen um, we can provide to a patient which um, is having problems on the plane that is a general medicine box we can go ahead and start IVs and then we have the drug box where we can go ahead and do just about give any medication that we're we can so you, give. you probably take care of patients more than you do putting out fires out here. Yes, a lot of our, well, most of our patients are in flight. Uh, they notify us, and uh, we get over there. We go into the plane and bring them out. Um, most of them uh, are diabetic or cardiac, something like that. Um, so we we just go in, we take care of them, 
and uh, bring them on out and send them to the hospital if they need to be. All right, well, thank you so much. And uh, this is a specialty. You have to go to uh, special schools to be firefighters here at airports. And that's what I thought was kind of interesting, too. And we said that's probably another story to talk about. And hopefully we'll be able to talk about that as well. Okay. Well, yeah. Th thank you, Diane. When I was in the uh, when I was in the Air Force, yes. it was a long time ago. But uh, I happened to be on a base for a while in Greenville, Mississippi, with firefighters. Uh -huh. And the firefighters and the medics were really close. And they, uh, they had to use a special compound of course to put out uh, airplane fires yes it's yeah. totally different than house fires and building structure fires there's a different level of training that yeah. comes yeah. into play with something like that absolutely pretty interesting yeah. right?